Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a desktop setup theme we're going to call Hackerspace. That if you want to become a pen tester or you know if you want to be a black hat, white hat, whatever, um, <clears throat> this is a good theme uh, and a good setup. I mean, I've actually got the tools here to do pen tests, uh, stuff like that. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go from right to left uh, across my workspace and kind of describe uh, what the tool is and I've taken a few of them off the desk but uh, I've left several uh, that I use on a, on a daily basis <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and just start over here to the right now I have links in the show notes for most of this stuff uh, so if you want to get into doing pen testing and, and that kind of stuff uh, there's some good tools in here and definitely some good recommendations so uh, let's go ahead and we'll just start off over here now I've got just some Bose desktop uh, speakers, a um, little sound and adjuster and powers right there. So it's kind of a nice little setup there for the Bose, but you know you really don't need those. But uh, I am going to try to explain what most of this stuff is. So if you uh, you know don't have to ask questions because I skipped something, uh, this is just a remote control to uh, a photo frame, digital photo frame. So no big deal there. Uh, I do have a pluggable. Uh, desk mic here. This is a great microphone. Um, so if I'm doing any kind of uh, uh, you know calls, um, different kinds of chat rooms or whatever that I need to be in, uh, this has great sound quality. Uh, then on top of the monitor here, I do have a webcam, uh, so I can do different things again like Skype and and uh, Hangouts stuff like that. <clears throat> Nothing big and cool there. And I do have this nice mouse pad here. This is a Razer. Uh, mouse pad. <clears throat> it's got a nice LED. Uh, it changes colors underneath. So I really like this mouse pad. Uh, I got my iPhone 7 Plus sitting on it right now, but uh, don't really need that in the equation. Now I do have my field notes. These are awesome. Uh, this one was a special one. Uh, they do unique covers and designs and stuff. So this was one I think I got in some kind of like you know monthly box thing. I don't remember what it was, but. Uh, I do like it, and I do write notes in there. These are great to have on you in the field, just like it says, <clears throat> so you can take notes. Uh, a book that, if you want to get started, this is the best book. I went ahead and dug this out and laid it out here. Uh, the Hacker Playbook 2. Go through this. It tells you. It gives you the tools you know to get set up with, um, and then how to do some stuff. So if you're wanting to become a pen tester, uh, this is a great starting book to get you. Uh, a little more familiar and with some tool sets there so uh, definitely recommend that again check the show notes I'll have a link that's a definite yes get that uh, I do have two twin monitors here um, so what's running on them right now is like over here I've got the Norse uh, live attack threat map um, it's probably one of the better ones I put the best two up on each screen here so if you want to watch this stuff like live it kind of tells you uh, what's going on you know the attack targets which the United States is like the number one uh, tells you the attacker IPs all that kind of stuff going across here and then a nice little live map kind of war games like huh pretty cool um, so that one is again Norse and I'll have a link in the show notes if you want to check that out and then over here uh, fire eye cyber threat map they're not as good um, as a threat map it's cool and of course the monitors go out and I try to right when I start filming uh, but uh, and then it's got a little globe down here top countries past 30 days and uh, top five reported industries in the past 30 days so you know financial there you go you're the number one target <clears throat> and the tax today it's up to like 440,000 so just tons and this has actually got a nice little uh, new attack there kind of going over it too so two of the best live cyber threat maps that you want to have. Uh, back to the desk, uh, got a Razer mouse, which I really like. Um, don't even know the model, it's just a Razer mouse. Okay, we'll go from there. Uh, custom made, I'm a big Hearthstone player. I'm a gamer still too, you know. So uh, my daughter actually made this um, and she actually sells them. So if you're interested, uh, send me a note because she does not only Hearthstone, she does anything. She's very good custom design coasters. Uh, so um, this is a Corsair keyboard 
Um, really like this keyboard. This is one of the better keyboards that I think I've uh, ever had. And uh, definitely like it. Um, and I've got kind of a, I don't remember what they call this effect. Kind of a waterfall effect maybe? I don't know. Uh, but I like it. Um, so then over here I've got just a wireless charging pad. Uh, I do have my Android phone here. This is a 7 uh, Edge. A 7 Edge. Uh, so you can just put it down and it'll charge right up. You gotta have an Android if you're gonna do any kind of pen testing because it's more open than the iPhone iOS uh, is. Uh, down here, left this out. Got a little sticker for you. If uh, you don't know what a rubber ducky is, um, this is really not a Citrix um, USB drive. Okay, this is a rubber ducky. I've gutted the Citrix uh, drive here, which is probably like a one gig drive or whatever, maybe even less, and uh, put in a rubber ducky. Um, again, I'll have a link in the show notes. That basically gets you to where you can uh, deploy uh, code just by plugging it in. It's a pretty awesome little uh, tool. Uh, the other speaker over here, I uh, did want to go over some stuff here. So uh, if you're going to have data, sensitive data, data that you want anyone to get to, uh, this is a super uh, option. This is a Kingston encrypted drive, uh, 64 gigs. So you can actually uh, key in a code and uh, encrypt your data with a code that only you can unlock. This has got really good encryption on it. Um, so definitely a good tool to have. It's an SD card adapter, an actual SD card, uh, USB. So you can plug this in if you don't have an SD card slot. Love this little guy. Used it a lot. Uh, Pelican case. So you've got sensitive data on SD cards. You definitely want to protect it. This is a uh, a good case tries to keep the water out as best as possible it's uh, going to prevent you from getting damage to them so definitely have to have that um, one of the best tools back here uh, you can see this this is a Wi-Fi pineapple and uh, it's a great pen test tool for uh, Wi-Fi uh, man in the middle kind of stuff um, definitely highly recommend that tool uh, this is just a big battery charger uh, from Luxa 2 so it's got like six USB ports um, you can plug into it and uh, definitely get uh, get some devices powered and charged and whatever and I think it's even got like a little ambiance I think if I click it you can just have a little light on it now I can't get it to stay but uh, it does come on uh, and uh, have a little ambiance light on the desk if you wanted to uh, this here is really killer cool this is a Nixie clock uh, as you can see here and uh, you can do different things with it um, just kind of those old power tubes uh, these are really popular I even uh, had one in uh, Mr. Robot but uh, I had one before that love the Nixie clock and I'll have a link to where you can get one of those too this was custom made so this is a pretty cool uh, little Nixie clock uh, got a lamp here that's kind of uh, you know I don't want to say in, maybe industrial but uh, you know, maybe steampunk, and I got a nice Edison bulb in it, you know, so if I do want to have a little more light, I can just sit here and uh, turn this on, if I can get to the thing with one hand, that's kind of neat, I can just turn this on, give you a little demo, there we go, pretty cool, huh, I kind of like the combination of the lighting in here, I'll leave that on dim, let's keep it there. So I've got some LEDs behind the desk um, to try to keep this from being really dark, but I didn't want to turn on the, the lights here. I do have some lights actually in the shelves above, so which helps illuminate the desk a little bit. It's kind of where you're getting the lighting. Uh, this is just a remote to the Nixie clock. Uh, come over here. This is a portable PC. This is definitely this is like a Windows 10 portable PC. Um, has its own power and everything. You just need to plug it into a monitor. Uh, on the go. It's a great, great little tool uh, to have. It's a kangaroo is what it is. So I actually use that. I can put it on this big monitor here uh, as well, but uh, it's great to put in your uh, kit and uh, hit the road with it. Uh, let's see. I've got this nice world map. It has a mouse pad. Um, really, really like this world map. It comes in very handy if you want to uh, know uh, 
where a country's at because some of these you know you uh don't always know remember you know if you go in here and you start looking at some of these south africa places like where's chad well here it is because i really couldn't tell you unless i looked on a map uh you know middle east asia all those areas are really good to refer to when you know you're looking at stuff like this and you want to try to pinpoint it a little more then this is a great desk mat that helps you do that you don't have to really refer very far except for right in front of you uh, got an MS Maxter Master Mouse one of the best mice out there uh, I've got a mechanical keyboard here from Pluggable uh, <clears throat> I love this keyboard because of its clicky I'll go ahead and uh, unlock the screen here because this is another monitor maybe if I can unlock it Let's see if I can get this to work oh well, of course not so this is actually running uh, Parrot uh, OS and a VM so this is actually a laptop here this is like an HP Spectre pretty powerful laptop um, so uh, it's got a really nice Kind of surprised I can't get this unlocked, so I'll probably have to reboot this thing. But uh, uh, this is a definite. If you're into like Kali Linux or stuff, Parrot is another great uh, tool set that you can use. You know, and I, and I said Kali Linux. I do have a VM on this laptop running Kali Linux as well, but right now I just have the Parrot OS up and running, and evidently it's become a little unresponsive. So I cannot show you the actual desktop and some of the tools that I had running on it. But again. You know, I'm not really advocating too much here except this kind of cool setup. Uh, <clears throat> over here, this is an actual dock uh, from TrendNet. So once I just plug this laptop in, you know, that's how it allows me to use this keyboard, this mouse, uh, and this monitor just from plugging in this laptop to this docking station here. Uh, this is a really cool clock. Um, I can't even remember who this is from. Davoom, I think. It's a time... Uh, time box I think is what it is it's really cool it's kind of like one of those old uh, clocks so this is actually synced to my phone uh, so the times coming from it and uh, it will show me alerts so if somebody sends me a text or I get a something on YouTube Facebook Twitter whatever uh, it'll highlight that logo so I know I've got some kind of uh, communication there a uh, bunch of cords and cables so a lot of times I have to plug stuff in so I have a nice desktop uh, kind of a charge port where you can plug in a bunch of stuff um, and then this really cool light I uh, currently don't have it plugged in but it's like a halo light and uh, it's LED it's awesome uh, I just don't have it on right now but uh, it really is a neat little ring of light uh, other little things I got here this is just a little spy camera um, you can use it to, to vlog if you wanted to it's got a pretty darn good uh, uh, lens in it so and it's very you know looks like a periscope you can just hold it like this and get easy footage if you're out and about um, and uh, it's got a microphone built in so it works really well SD card goes down here uh, this is like the it's an HTC but I can't remember what HTC it is so but I'll, I'll find a link for it and put it in the show notes uh, this is a super cool USB um, Wi-Fi that you can actually use to intercept packets that are around you so if you go to like a coffee shop uh, you can program this to actually just pull random data from Wi-Fi around you which is pretty darn cool uh, it's got high gain this is a TP link and then there's the model number uh, T wait, get it in focus here TLWN 722N um, I'll have a link where you can get this too because this is one of the better chipsets that you want to get um, and because not too many of them can basically just go into kind of a promiscuous mode that's just intercepting data that's out there and you can do that with this one which is pretty cool uh, this is a glyph solid state drive um, probably like 250 gig or something I don't know but uh, uh, always getting data you know captures dumps anything like that uh, kind of a nice place to store it. Um, this is a great solid state, very fast uh, place to actually put it. I think it's Type C, uh, so really love it. It's got this nice rugged case around it too to help kind of protect it. So it's definitely something good to have in the field with you in your in your kit. And then over here, uh, this is a uh, just a Microsoft Surface Pro. 
um, another Windows box. Sometimes I have a couple Windows boxes that I take out and uh, <clears throat> utilize them. Uh, this one's just charging right now, so it's out of commission uh, until it's all charged up, but it does go into my kit. So anyway, guys, that is kind of my workspace here. Um, my kind of my hacker space, my pin test area. Um, didn't go over a whole lot of tools. If you want me to do something like that, I could uh, definitely do a follow-up video where I am into uh, the Paradox or Kali Linux and you know, kind of going over some stuff to uh, try to get you guys a little more visual of the cool kind of tool sets, you know, especially stuff like this. Um, loading up the software to use this. Uh, I use Kali, plug this in, and then uh, I just can intercept, like I said, open Wi-Fi. So it's pretty pretty cool stuff. That stuff's just traveling through the air, and so you can just grab it and start analyzing it. Uh, things like Wireshark, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely cool tools to have. So anyway, uh, again, I'll try to put links for most of this stuff in the show notes. Um, if you saw something that I missed, hopefully I didn't, and you have a question, just let me know, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, got a lot more extensive stuff up here. These are like uh, HNAS, or not an HNAS, but this is a NAS, uh, Synology NAS actually. Uh, server rack, I got some servers in there, so I've got a nice lab um, if I need to get uh, stuff done. So anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see follow up stuff, put down there what you'd like to see. Give me some ideas, and as always, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching guys, and have a good one. Thank you.